All right, so let's think about this situation. So recall, after one day you gained 10 pounds from eating McDonald's. That's only one day. Now, so let's say you keep doing this for several days. Well, that's still your completely independent decision. So, how do we figure out the total weight that you gain after a certain number of days? Well, that's what this function tells us right here. So, 10 would be the number of pounds you gain per day, while x is the number of days that you do this. All right? So, so let's say we were to do it for one day. We have our weight, which is f of x, equals 10 pounds times one day, plus our initial weight, which was 150 pounds. Well, 10 times one is 10. You add that to 150, you get 160 pounds. Another way of saying this, f of one, or in other words, a function of one day is 160 pounds. Now, so let's say you continue doing this over and over again. You just love those clumps of lard. But then again, who doesn't? Yes. Well, here we're going to be putting another number. Let's say you do it for three days. Just totally pig out. Well, instead of putting one year, I'm going to put three days. Well, this of course changes your weight. 10 times 3, that's 30. Over three days, you gained a hefty 30 pounds. Good for you. And adding this together, well, that's 180 pounds. Pretty sizable. Pretty nice. And another way to write this, well, just the same as we did before. A function of three days is 180 pounds. And guess what? We just answered this guy. That's right. We found f of x when x equals to 3. If you plug in 3 days, you get 180 pounds. Now, getting 4, well, that's just the same exact process to do this. If we put a function of 4, what do you think we get? Well, in case you don't know, you're going to want to put it in here again. Same exact process. You do 10 times 4 plus 150. Multiply these out. It's 40. Add it to 150. That gives you 190. So at the end of four days, of eating just pure McDonald's, all those quadruple holy freaking crab burgers, they're nice, hefty 190 pounds.